Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about hem creation on cylindrical component. Here is a question, can we create hem on cylindrical in SOLIDWORKS? So whether it's possible or not, I'm going to show you. And if it is not possible, then how to create, I'm going to explain. And I'm going to explain about seam lock joint with an example. See here, I have created a hem on cylindrical component. Actually, it's not possible in SOLIDWORKS. So I'm going to use small trick for that so that we can create a hem on cylindrical component. And also I'm going to show you seam lock joint. So how to calculate A sketch for creating this seam lock. So I'm going to show you this. So let's start now. So I've taken a new SOLIDWORKS part file. Select the top plane. Go to sketch. Select center point arc. So radius is uh, 26. So I'm going to draw on center line. Draw, select this point. Make it symmetric. This is 12. Now go to sheet metal, select base flange, keep it in top view, see here, it is creating outward. So I am going to take uh, thickness as 1 mm, depth I am taking 50, see here. Now go to sheet metal select the hem now select this edge so we are not able to select this edge so for example if i want to create an edge flange i can select this and then i can create see here so i can reduce the angle So I can create in this manner. See here, it's not creating beyond that. So up to one sixty-five, it is it is able to create. So it is not creating an hem. So I, once again, I'm showing. here I am selecting this edge and selecting the hem feature so it is not selecting this so in this case what we have to do is go to sketch select a line draw line randomly and select this point make it tangent so you can take any value for time being I am taking 3 mm 
you can reduce the value also and say okay so there is no much deviation in this now select this hem hem feature and select this so it is able to create now see here so distance 3 mm and gap is 1 mm save okay now we can reduce this value for example i am going to take 1 mm see here so it is not taking so slightly we have to increase so it should be more than thickness see here it is able to create so in this manner we can create a hem on cylindrical component so next time i'm going to explain how to create seam lock joint so i've taken a new solveworks part file select the top plane go to sketch draw a circle this is 52 select the circle make it construction draw a center point arc draw a center line select this three entities make it symmetric this is 36 distance between these two points select uh, three point arc select tangent this is 4.4 So radius is twenty one point seven. Select this point, make it tangent. This is three point four. Take a center line. draw horizontal it has to be on the reference circle now draw in three point arc select this line and this one make it tangent and these two tangent this is 2.5 radius is 1.5 make it as a reference draw a line it should be parallel to the other line so make it parallel then this value is 1.5 so this is also reference line so make it construction so i have to make a gap between these two surfaces so 
I have to maintain as minimum as possible. So I am drawing a line. So this is uh, 0 0.01. Now we have to draw one more arc from this point, it should be outward, so select three point arc, so select this point make it tangent and take this point near to this. So you have to zoom and select the end point, select merge option. So it is constrained now. Now we have to draw one line. So remove the vertical and select these two lines, make it parallel. So this is 3 mm. Say okay. So this is the final sketch. Come out of the sketch. Now go to sheet metal, select the base flange, see here, I am going to make 50 and the thickness as 1 mm, k factor we can take uh, 0.45, see here. Now I am going to select hem, so hem I have selected material inside open type and uh, length is uh, 3 and the uh, distance between uh, two faces is uh, 1 mm k factor is 0.5 say ok so i have to create one more ham feature so you can select uh, any edge select this so with same value i have to flip the other direction so sometimes it may throw an error we have to modify sketch according to our requirement see here this is how we have to create hem on cylindrical surface so this is a brief about creating hem on cylindrical surface with seam lock joint thanks for watching